Zeal Education Society, Redefining Excellence. Hello everyone, myself Divya Satishna Zain from Zeal College of Engineering and Research Pune. I am studying in class 3rd year Civil Engineering Department. My topic for project is the impact of climate change on water resources and its relevance in civil engineering. The project is guided by A.R. Bansodi sir. So let us move towards our presentation. The given slide gives us a quick idea about the points that we are going to learn today in our presentation. Here comes the introduction part. Climate change may affect both the long-term availability and short-term variability of water resources in many regions. Changes in seasonal runoff regimes and interannual runoff variability may have greater economic impact than changes in long-term average runoff. The greenhouse effect is a natural mechanism essential to life on Earth, but human activity has altered the balance in this mechanism. Radiant energy emitted by the sun comes through the Earth's atmosphere and warm its surface. As we know that climatic change is a hydrological change, the given diagram reviews about the water resources scheme. So here comes the impact of climatic changes on water resources. Climatic changes amplifies risks we already face and have faced for many, uh, for many years. For example, drought, flood, poor water quality, water supply shortage and distribution. Climatic change increases the risk, problems and stacks. Nowadays we hear the news about rising of sea level. So why is sea level uh, rising? There are three main reasons. First is the thermal expansion. Second is melting of glaciers and third is melting of ice sheets. Given diagram shows the long term and short term effects of climatic changes in the environment. So now let us see how climatic changes is related with civil engineering. Climatic changes affects no longer most effective and natural but also the constructed environment. It is important to recognize and anticipating, mitigating and adapting to the importance of weather changes in the structural and civil engineering. So now let us see what are the negative impacts of climatic changes on civil engineering structures. The primary effects as higher wind and snow load as well as secondary effects as deterioration and corrosion. The changes in type of load and structures by rising sea level or variation of temperature through cross section. Therefore, it is necessary for civil engineer to adapt to ongoing changes and start consider these problems to each level of design and constructions. Next slide reviews about the effect of increase in temperature on structures. The increase of temperature creates an expansion of material and within the same way the decrease of temperature creates the contraction. So now let us see what is the effect of increase in CO2 emission on structures. The lifetime of a structure decreases together with safety, service and durability and increase the economic cost of the structure and maintenance. Now what is the effect of increase of sea level on structures? The effect of sea water on civil engineering structures from durability point of view can be stated as aggressive to concrete and reinforcement. The most important negative impact of climatic change is on the design load. Climatic action on building have intensities that vary in time over the year and correct extreme climatic events and to more significant loads on civil engineering works. Here are some extreme weather effects on the environment which states about the floods, droughts, and increase in temperature. So now being a civil engineer we must know about the treatment of existing and design of new structures. The new approach in design of sustainability and durable concrete structure is controlled permeability formwork which is also known as CPF. CPF liner will uniquely modify the properties of freshly placed concrete thereby improving the surface strong, durability and overall appearance of the finished concrete. To protect the steel against corrosion and improve their durability, the use of stainless steel is usual solution. The concentration of chlorides in concrete must also be galvanized reinforced for concrete structures is also one method to delay the carbonation. So now moving towards the conclusion of our topic. Now we can see that the impact of global changes on civil engineer structures is inevitable and sustainable for future development. The growing amount of CO2 in atmosphere can induce the, and speed up the degradation and carbonation of concrete cover and also corrosion of